Hello, welcome to Agiotech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to learn programming step by step from scratch. But today's lesson is focusing on Excel. I'm going to teach you something interesting about Excel, Excel functions. So what you can see is raw data. I have some final examination grading for YK Academy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can write a function to auto grade, auto grade these students and also give them remarks so we are going to use function to do this so anytime we add a new student automatically the student will be graded okay so without much ado let's jump straight into action you you will notice that i have some list of students i have 12 students over here i have quiz one quiz two and then a final score so the total here shouldn't be more than 100 so we are going to use function to generate the total then based on the total we can grade our students okay remember you need to subscribe to this channel and then don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get alerts anytime we upload new videos so i'm going to use a function to first generate the total and based on the total i'll be able to grade my students okay then that is good we can jump straight into action so to use a function i have to use the equal to sign and this one is summation so with the sum keyword and i'll hit the tab key and then I can drag from, so I want the total from quiz one to the final. And I said it shouldn't exceed 100. So my quiz one is over 10, quiz two is over 30, and then the final is over 60. So the total should be 100. So the maximum a student can get will be what, 100. So this time I want to find the total. So I'll just drag from the quiz one to total. Okay, so when I hit enter, I should get a total for Kofi, that particular student. So to get it for the rest, I don't need to bother doing the same function. I can come and click on this small square button over here, drag across to the last student and automatically you notice that I've gotten a total for the rest of my students. So how then do we get the grade? Let's assume that we want the student to get A when the student scored 90 and above. How then do we do that? We can use a function to do that. So we are going to use a if statement within Excel to do that. So I'm going to say this function is going to be a bit long, but we are going to take it step by step and then I'll explain everything what it's doing and then we'll see how this function is going to be very effective. We are going to use the same procedure to also give a remark to our students. So let me, let's jump straight into the action by grading our students. So I'm going to say if so remember you need to bring equal to sign once you are defining the function so i'll say if so we are using the value within this column the total column to generate or to grade our students so based on your score over here we can grade you so you see if the total so i'll click on that column that's the total column if the total over there is greater or equal to so notice this we want the total over here should be greater or equal to so this time we say 90 so if a student score 90 and above then we can assign that student a value so we say that student should get a and remember the value or the grade we are going to give that student should be in what quotation mark so this time around i'll say that student should get a based on your total score so basically that's what we want and then we have to go ahead and bring comma we are going to use the same if again and then we'll click on the same column so we are using our total column so you shouldn't just click anywhere just goes direct to the total column so our next definition is going to be greater or equal to sorry equal to 80 so we are seeing this tomorrow if you score 80 or above then we are going to assign that student a value of a b so this should also be in quotation so we want to give that student a b let's go ahead and also do it for a student who scores 17 above till we get to the last end maybe a student who get less than 50 we can give that student what f so we can go ahead and see if the same column f4 is greater or equal to 70 we should give that student what a c so let's summarize let's say a c plus c plus okay 
so this should be a C plus. Then we can go ahead again if sorry. So we are using the same statement. So you notice this is supposed to be in what quotation. So I need to end it with the quotation and then comma and if the same column is greater or equal to so this is what they are saying we say this time around if it's greater or equal to 60 what should we do we are going to assign this student a c so remember this is the value or the grade we are going to give the student so this should be in quotation don't forget that so the grade is going to be a c okay so let's go ahead and then our next grade will be the same column this time around if the student should score 50 so this one is greater or is equal to 50 what are we going to give that student so let's say we are giving that student a d a d and then lastly if the student should score so notice that this time is less than so if you get 50 and 50 or less then we are going to give you f that means you failed the exams so we can say 50 the students you get so you notice that there's no equal to so it's less so even if you get 50 you will still get what a d but anything short of that let's say 49 you still will fill the exams so let's say we are going to give a student f meaning to filled we've opened the bracket or oh, let's say we open parentheses one two three four five six so we need to close it down a number of times so one two three four five and then what six so if you hit enter you notice that automatically we've assigned a grade to kofi by clicking on this square bracket or the square box and dragging it down we automatically grade the rest of our students is that not nice Remember, you need to subscribe to this channel in order to enjoy so amazing things from Agiotech. So this, from this, we are able to grade our students automatically. We can use the same function, the same procedure to also give them a remark. What you need to do is that where we have the A, is this time around going to be satisfactory or credit, pass, and then the rest. So what are we going to do? Let's try to use the same formula to do that. For the rest of our student notice what is going to happen this column have, has been automated the grading column so we when we try to do any change to the records over here let's say by mistake quiz uh, quiz one abna had seven instead of 5.5 when we make any change it will automatically update the total for us and and also change the grid so let's say abna had what seven and I hit enter notice that it has automatically update updated the total column for me let's assume the final score to there's some modification we do some changes and then we try to say Abna score 35 instead of what let's say Abna score 45 instead of 30, 29 let's see what is gonna happen when you hit enter notice that the total has been updated and then the grading has also been updated so this is a typical way in which you can automate students let's say assuming we have another student in class and there is a student number notice something the number column you can also auto generate them because i've created a pattern so one two if i want to add more students i can just select the two click on this button and then i can number them in that order so let's say i want to add two more students to my grading score so I can say maybe let's say John Doe and John Doe scored 8 in quiz 1 let's say 19 in quiz what 2 and then finally in the final exam John Doe scored 49 look at what is going on when I hit the tab key automatically John Doe has been graded and then the total has been calculated and then John Doe has been graded as well. I believe you are enjoying this lesson. Then don't forget to subscribe in order to enjoy a lot from Agiotech. I will add my final students. Let's say 
Kweku and Kweku had nine in quiz one and then quiz, quiz two we scored 20 and then the final exam he had 55 look at it is that not amazing so we have actually automated this excel excel sheet for us to be getting our grade anytime we add a student so i'm going to write the same function this time around to give a remark based on your performance it's basically going to be the same procedure for this so let's see if the same procedure i believe we are not going to use a grade column our record or what we are going to use we are basing the remark on the total score so i need to still go with that same procedure so i say greater or equal to basically if you've not gotten the first we have created my function you just need to follow the same procedure so greater or equal to what 90 and then this time around we say what this is satisfactory i believe the spelling is right yeah okay in that order and then i'll go ahead and see if once again the same column notice what we are doing it's just the repeat of the first one but this time around we are giving some remark to the performance of the student and we are going to use 80 comma and then this time we're going to say what excellent excellent sorry about this uh double click and then let's go back we are not done yet and you can see if if the same color is greater or equal to so we've done 80 so we are going to 70 to 70 we are giving us to let's say very good let's say very what good so remember this should be what quotation so i'll go ahead and see if we are in the same column greater or equal to so we've done 70 so this is going to what 60 so this is going to be 60 comma and then we are going to say this should be what good okay so we are saying what good and then comma then if the same color the same so we are going for, we've done 60 we are this tomorrow we are this tomorrow we are going for what 50 okay so that student should get 50 and then above 50 and above okay 50 and above we are going to see what you pass the exams okay Okay, so that should be in quotation as well and then lastly lastly if the student should get less than what 50 we can say you actually fill the exam so let's go this way so this is basically what we want to do this is based on the remark so we've opened this bracket six times we need to close it one two three and then i think there's the last one let me hit enter I notice automatically Kofi is getting very good but then we get the result for the rest by clicking on the small box here drag it down and then you should get a remark for the rest of the students wow so you notice that the highest score so far is what Amanda who scored 90 which is what A and then that's satisfactory as well so anybody score within the range which in which we are signed within our function automatically get your remark so basically this is how to create automatic grading system using excel remember you need to subscribe to this channel i have so many amazing things for you on this channel i'm going to show you so many techniques within excel and some presentation techniques as well it's general anything it i'm going to be there for you thank you so much for viewing this lesson subscribe turn on the notification bell and then also share this video with your friends bye